uh, it's time to actually do the exciting part, which is filling up your garden bed with soil. And so this lesson is all about purchasing the right soil. When you go into a hardware store, there is just a million and one options out there. I'm gonna show you the three types of soils I have in front of me. Uh, there's also manure there as well. And then I'm gonna show you a little trick about them because the branding says they're all different, but they're kind of similar. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I bought a diversity of soil here. I got mushroom compost, organic compost, and cow manure. But when we open it up, we kind of see that they're actually not that great. Okay, check this out. So we've got the first one, mushroom compost. And, and so this is spent mushrooms. So they've composted mushrooms. And you know, the reason why I'm pressing it is to see if it holds its structure and it's crumbling really, really easily there. This is supposed to be organic compost and similarly it's crumbling and this is supposed to be cow manure. Now first of all, it's not fresh cow manure because it doesn't smell. So all three of these have the same problem. There's no or very little living biology in here. And the living biology is so crucial because it holds the soil together. It has soil structure. Let me show you real compost. And check this out. This is real soil. I've just taken this out of my sub pod. There's even a little worm there. And how I tell if this is, this is good living soil is I lightly squeeze it, let it go. I can touch it. See, it's not crumbling apart. It's still holding its structure. And so another way to tell if you've got good soil structure is you can just get a little ball and drop that in some water and we'll do that now as an experiment to show you how different this is from any bagged compost or soil that you will buy so in this little experiment i've got two glasses of water and in my hand here i have some of the bagged compost this is organic compost that i bought from the store which was like 20 bucks a bag and let's see when i drop it in water you see how it just explodes it can't hold it, it can't hold its soil structure, so it explodes. If you imagine rain hitting this, it's not gonna hold any water. Now check this out. We're gonna do this with the compost from the sub pod. Look at that. You see how it's holding its structure? And the water is actually penetrating in there. There's air bubbles. This is what you want soil to do. This is exactly what you want soil to do because it's holding moisture. It is allowing moisture to move through it. It is not exploding and crumbling. This is how you tell if you've got good soil. And this is why you need living soil. You need compost in there. Now I'm gonna let these worms out because I don't want them to drown. So I hope that gives you a better idea of bagged purchase compost versus living soils and compost you make at home. One has little life or, or little biology or no biology in it where the other one is teeming with life and the big difference there is that you're working with nature when you have compost and living soils in your garden it's able to hold on to moisture and holding on to moisture means less watering for you it actually means that the plants are healthier less pests and diseases uh, so my recommendation is don't get too caught up in all the branding uh, that you're gonna find in the nurseries. Uh, definitely get a diversity of compost and soil. So get some mushroom, get some organic compost, uh, get some manures, as they'll have different nutrient values and different organic matter values as well. So it's good to get a diversity, but don't get too caught up because what's gonna make a big difference is actually getting the biology in there. And next off, we go, we're going to explore that and show you how to turn your garden bed into a living ecosystem. So essentially there's less work for you. Share below anything you learned today with the community and what type of amendments or soils you're going to buy or maybe you're just gonna use some soil on your property. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you learned something today.